back again, Dr. Bones. I want to talk a little bit about the tennis serve. That's where you are in control. I've got a, I've got a big serve, mostly left-handed. I've got a big left-handed serve. I serve right-handed, but uh, not as powerful. But this is where you're in control, all right? So how can you enhance your serve using physics? Well, you need thrust. You need to get off of the ground. You want to get a rocket off the, of the ground, you're going to need thrust. The bigger the thrust, the further you're going to be going. Same thing in tennis. You need some thrust. You need an action-reaction. In this case, we have a downward force equaling our upward force. All right, so when you press down hard, you're going to be reimbursed with an upward force. So what we need is a contact, contact with the ground, and we need a maximum downward force. Harder I push down, the greater the force. <laughs> up. So actually, they're going to be jumping into the court. So I have a serve where I'm going to be sideways to the court partially, and then I try to develop a lot of downward force. So I'm going to be bringing my weight downward. You could put me on a scale and you'd find out I'd actually weigh more than I do because mass times gravity is weight but force is mass times acceleration. In this case, instead of just being weight, I am now a mass times an acceleration. So the greater the downward force, the greater the upward and forward force as you propel yourself up and out into the court. So this is the wind up. You're going to need a downward force. Now as far as the contact with the ball is concerned, I like to step back a little bit and generate momentum forward. So instead of having my legs close together and simply generating a downward force, I'm thinking about, yes, I need to go up, but I also need to go into the court. So I'm generating a forward momentum. Here I'm bringing it all together and then launching myself into the court. All right, so you might want to try stepping back a little bit and generating a forward momentum, all right? This is where you're going to get your power, power that's going to be translated upward and forward into the court. Okay, as far as the toss is concerned, we're going to have our little parabola here. Every time you toss a ball, and remember, if I'm serving left-handed, this will be the arm that I'll be tossing the ball with. Every time you toss the ball, it goes in the motion of a parabola. And you have to think to yourself, well, how, or where, I should say, where do I want to hit the ball as it moves through its parabolic trajectory? Here, let's move to the side here. So you can imagine here, I'm throwing the ball up, so it's moving in a parabola. Where do I actually want to make contact with the racket and the ball? Do I want to do it on the upward portion of the parabola? at the apex or top of the parabola or on the downward arc of the parabola. Obviously, you don't want to hit the ball here, nor do you want to hit it here. So somewhere in here, I recommend that you try for the downward portion of the parabola. In this case, we can have the racket at an angle that's going to give us some type of top spin. So here we go again. I put this back. I've got my racket. I'm imagining, here I am, I'm ready for the toss. I throw the ball up. As the ball is going through its downward arc at the higher portions, I am going to be hitting across. So my feet are jumping, this right, uh, right foot is into the court, right? And as I move forward, I am cutting across the top of the ball. By the way, the ball and the racket are only together about five milliseconds, so you might be feeling your follow through and all, but the ball is long gone. So it's really the angle that the ball is going to be interacting with the racket that's going to give you your spin. So pretty much a flat serve. Here we've got some top spin, right? So we're trying to brush across the ball. It's only gonna be on the racket about five milliseconds, right? But I suggest that you try to hit the ball on the downward portion of the parabola. So it goes up, and then I follow through, okay? 
course, remember I'm here in a TV studio, so we're not out on the tennis courts. So as the ball comes through, I hit the ball, all right? So that's the toss. You want to hit it sort of on the downward portion of the parabola. I think you'll have much, uh, much greater time or success in terms of getting the ball into the opponent's service box, all right? And of course, the kick serve, you can think about the kick serve as trying to get more of a spin on the ball. In this case, it's your second serve. You have to get that ball into the service box. So you're going to angle your racket so that you can accomplish this. All right? See you in the next segment. <laughs>